Hello everyone, this is Alan Jane. I'm a Toronto real estate agent from Rolla Page Peace Land. I'm a national top tier agent of Rolla Page. Today is near to the end of 2022. I would like to share with you some of my predictions of next year's housing market. Buying a home in 2022 is like riding a roller coaster. The adjustment in price is unsinkable for many who purchase the properties at the beginning of the year. A combination of brick interest rate hikes and a variety of new housing policies surprising the market has resulted in a 20% drop in the average GTA home price from the peak. Several institutions have lowered their forecast on Canadian housing prices. Royal Page, Remax, and the TD predicted a 1-10% to decline of the price in the coming year. Many analysts attribute the decline in the housing prices to the central bank's interest rate hike. This December, the central bank increased the interest rate by another 0.5%. So how such a high interest rate affect housing prices next year? I have created a graph to demonstrate the interest rate over the last 20 years versus the change in GTA houses prices. The picture demonstrates the interest rate effects on the housing prices since 1996. The red bar represents banks' policy rates, when the blue shows changes in the home prices in the GTA over the past year. We can see a strong correlation between the rise and the fall of the interest rates and the magnitude of the housing price change. On most occasions, when the interest rate increases, the price increase decelerates. When interest rates fall, the housing price rise will accelerate. Housing price dropped in 2008 during the financial crisis. The price dropped in 2017 after implementing foreign buyers tax and the stress test. But both times, the price rebounded after a year. So will house price rebound in 2023? To answer this question, it's also critical to understand if the current housing price is fundamentally sound. Because we have experienced the pandemic, and the historically low interest rate in the past few years. This distorted the absolute value of the properties. Using the data from the end of 2019 as a starting point is more justifiable. At the end of 2019, the GTA housing market has already experienced the foreign buyer tax and the B20 stress test for almost two years. The fundamental demand for housing is robust. What will housing prices look like today if we continue the trajectory of 2019 without going through the pandemic? To answer this question, let's compare the GTA housing market in November 2019 with November 2022. So first, let's view detached and link homes in GTA. Houses was strong seller's market in November 2019. It was relatively balanced in November this year but some market remain a seller's market. New listed houses this year have dropped by 9% compared to November 2019. 2,079 homes sold in the GTA this November, a 37% drop from November 2019. The average house price has increased by 33% since November 2019 with an average annual increase of nearly 10%. The mass of inventory peaked at 3.2 in July this year and has remained relatively stable since September. Now, let's take a look at the semi townhomes market. Townhouses and the semi in November 2019 is strong seller's market. The market slowed in November 2022, but it's still a seller's market. Compared to November 2019, New listing fell 4.7%, but sold listing fell more than 39%. The average home price has increased by 29% compared to November 2019. That's annual increase of nearly 10%. The month of inventory peaked at 3.2 in July this year but has been relatively stable since August. And finally, let's review the condo market. Condominium market has seen noticeably slowdown 
and is currently a buyer's market. New listings in November is up 27% from 2019. The number of sold listings decreased by 32% compared to 2019. The average home price has increased by 15% compared to November 2019, with the average annual increase of nearly 5%. Months of inventory in the condo market has increased significantly. Before the COVID outbreak in March 2020, the market was already booming. Almost every house was on the bidding, and it was a challenge to buy one. In February 2020, the GDA's average home price jumped by about 7% monthly for detached, semi-detached, and townhomes. In November this year, we saw housing price stabilize, and even new listings are lower than in November 2019. But we also noticed that the home sales are considerably lower, and the housing inventory is larger. This indicates the upcoming spring market will be weaker than in February 2020. However, very few homeowners plan on selling their houses in the current market. Hence, buyers will have few options next spring, so the price will be very sticky. In the condo market, the number of newly listed units has increased compared to November 2019, but the sales have decreased, and the inventory is accumulating. The near-term outlook doesn't look encouraging. However, condo prices are more affordable and have not grown as fast as freehold houses, so there's a little room for price reduction. Check out the previous video I did on Toronto's condo market. After reviewing the November housing market between 2019 and 2022, let's look at how immigration affects housing prices. Clearly, housing prices in the GTA have moved up with population growth. The population increase in Canada is relatively stable. The population increased by about 1% a year from 1996 to 2019. In the GTA, up until 2019, Detached, semi-detached, and the townhouses prices grew on an average 6.94% annually, when condo price rose 7.3%. A growing population drives up the housing prices. So from 2019 to this year, the average annual population growth rate is still around 1%. We can use this number to assume that the GTA home prices should have increased by 7% annually from 2019 up to today. If we apply the annual increase of 7% and use the average housing price in November 2019 as a baseline, we can calculate November 2022 detached housing average price would be 1.27 million. And next year, November 2023, detached housing average price would be 1.35 million. If we look at the tribe data, the average price of detached houses in GTA was 1.38 million in November 2022. This means today's price is 9.3% higher than what it's supposed to be, but it's close to the right price at the end of next year. This concludes that the free housing price will change a little by the end of next year before climbing again in 2024. Indeed, housing prices are driven by two many factors. I believe that the growth in population is a primary driver of the housing prices and have oversimplified the calculation. Also, the GTA is a large region with a very different market dynamic. Diverse housing types like detached homes and condos will have completely different market outlooks. Please let me know if you want to discuss more about the specific market. Thank you very much for your time. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Please contact me if you consider buying or selling the house and want to find a professional, experienced real estate agent. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.